things. Of course, our Valentine's dinner, that'll be this time next Sunday evening. We'll gather in here just for a real, very brief service while they do a few things over there. And, uh, and then we'll venture over there. So if you haven't signed up yet, please do so tonight, okay? We want to we, we wanna know how many to cook for. It's going to be a good time together. So uh, then we'll do a, a token of our appreciation for the youth for their mission trip uh, uh, this summer. Men's ministry in the morning, uh, ladies on Tuesday. Uh, of course, Wednesday we have Awana. We've got a, a lot of stuff goes on here on Wednesday night. Kind of an exciting place, to be honest with you. And then uh, this coming Thursday will be Young at Heart. Uh, on the 16th, they'll be having uh, that meeting there. Uh, the ladies' uh, new women's class on Thursday morning started last Thursday. I, haven't, I didn't get to talk to uh, Kathy today. Uh, but you ladies, any of you who are free, she's using some uh, Max Licato uh, stuff, and that's good stuff. Uh, that will be this coming Thursday morning at uh, 10 o'clock. So we invite you ladies to be a part of that. All right, I'm glad you're here tonight. I'm glad you've come to worship with us. And uh, Chad's going to come now and, and lead us in song. Good evening. Let's all stand. We're going to sing, I know whom I have believed in. All four stanzas that we stand and sing. seated as we go the Lord in prayer. We have several people that we need to remember uh, in our prayers. Uh, an update on Brenda. She's in our hospital up here. She has double pneumonia for one thing and uh, they're running tests right now on some other things. They're afraid of blood clots and stuff. Uh, so uh, remember her in your prayers and hopefully uh, she'll be able to work through this. Her immune system is zero and uh, she's been sick for about two weeks and uh, she had a fall two weeks ago on Saturday, just out of the clear blue, she just fell. And she has gone downhill ever since then, and now she's got all this stuff. So remember her when you pray, and hopefully everything will be okay. Uh, they were worried about blood clots and some of that stuff. There was fluid and 
there's just some stuff going on they wasn't sure about, and so uh, hopefully those tests will tell them what they need to know. So remember her when you pray. Continue to remember uh, Mary and Otis Baker, uh, Karen Bowman, uh, Betty Brim, doing good. I spoke with her this week. Um, Donna Creech, need to remember Donna. And Johnny Jervis, I spoke with Johnny Jervis this week, and he's been down on his back like David Reese here, and uh, this weather has a lot to do with it too, but it's, it's no fun. I know that. I've been there with that. So we need to pray for Johnny and pray for David uh, as well as they can, they can get this taken care of. Uh, Laura Kennedy, we need to continue to remember her, Billy Moody, Ozine McKinn, uh, Jean Pryor and Willard, remember both of those folks, uh, Sherry Sams, uh, Melvin Tate uh, in a local health care facility now, uh, not, not really doing well, so remember Melvin when you pray. Glenn Baker was here this morning with us, he's lost 30 pounds, uh, Glenn's uh, he's t- uh, on chemo again and and remember him when you pray. He is, he is such a great guy, and uh, I'm so sorry he's going through all this. Victor Bramlett, continue to remember him as he progressively gets better. We're certainly glad of that. Um, Oliver Dixon, uh, Cheryl Ellis uh, had surgery, and uh, she also said, uh, Ms. Gilbert, this is uh, Jean Gilbert's daughter, to put David Gilbert on there. I'm assuming that's her son, maybe. Uh, Dr. Travis Gilbert at the hospital, that's their son. And evidently the other son is David Gilbert. I'm not sure, but I'll find out. Anyway, God knows who it is, and that's the, that's the thing. Amanda Gaddis, we certainly need to remember her. Uh, Karen Prater was here this morning. Uh, she's the girl we've been praying for who's gone through all the cancer. And she told me this morning, she said, guess what? I went back to work this past week. And so uh, she really looks good, and uh, she certainly believes in prayer because that girl has, uh, has, she has been through the meal. And uh, so continue to remember her. Faye Brewer, we need to remember Faye Brewer as well in our prayers. Um, Chuck Davis, Dorothy Collette, uh, Nick Wallace. Remember the Miller family. They're, they're, I don't know which one of them it is, but one of them's got COVID again. I guess they both do by now. And that family is since they moved here from Texas, they have uh, they've had a lot of stuff going on. And so let's pray that they'll be okay. Just a, a beautiful family. I'm telling you, I, I, the more I'm around uh, uh, that family, the more the more I love them. They're just good folks. Uh, Nick Wallace, uh, Nancy Scott, Mark Cox, Calvin Hibbard, uh, Harley Smith, who is the brother of Shelby uh, Messer. Uh, he was. They told him yesterday he's in stage four of lung cancer. So. We need to remember him. Also, Barbara Bingham and uh, Jay Dameron uh, has been in the hospital, and he's now back home and needs our prayers. Janelle Winchester, keep her in your prayers as well. Uh, she certainly needs our, our prayers also. So we got a lot of people on our prayer list, uh, uh, a lot of people in need. Uh, families uh, that we need to remember, uh, the Satterfield family, uh, with the passing of uh, Angela, the daughter. She used to attend church here with... Uh, when Bobby and Judy were here, and of course Judy's health uh, went bad on her, and it's, it's not good today. So uh, remember that family, this is the death of their daughter, and they lost their son just a couple of years ago, their son died. Uh, so that family's been through a lot. And also uh, Vernita Sturgill, longtime employee of Sears, some of you would know her uh, to see her, uh, and she passed away. Sharon Perry and Avery uh, both uh, need our prayers as well. So we got a lot of people we need to pray for. So uh, let's take these needs before the Lord. I'm going to ask Henry Gaddis if he would uh, lead us in this prayer, please. Amen. Jesus is all the world to me as we stand tonight and sing the first and the fourth stings. Jesus is all. Cheers. 
sometimes we experience many of his amazing gifts. We just have to open our eyes to them. In painful situations, it may be easy to feel if God's hand is not resting on your life. But believers have wonderful spiritual blessings at all times. So express gratitude, even in difficulty. 